Hello, um, in this video I will show how to replace uh, the hard disk that arrived with this laptop, the ASUS one, uh, with this uh, cheap SSD option, which is 240 giga. Because the one in this one was gets a little bit slower and the model is the UX303L from ASUS. So I tried to replace uh, the PCI one, which came with it. It was like this is a small one. This is, uh, as you can see, it is 24 gig. 24 gig. I purchased this one, 240. Uh, 200 and Two hundred and fifty-six, but as you can see, the size is different, so I couldn't install it. So I would just lead this one and install this one. So to start, we will have to remove uh, this screws. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them are. Uh, you can have access to them and there is two screws under the rear uh, covers here I will just remove them and uh, unscrew them and then we will go to the next step I used uh, this kit from Enco uh, as you can see it's very good the screws is T5, Torx uh, T5, most of them, and the remaining two is just regular screws. I will just remove them now. Now I just removed uh, the back cover. Make sure not uh, to break the two pins back here. And try to remove it gently from, uh, from the back here. You can you remove it with your hand, okay. Uh, this is the place for the small PCI uh, 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 SSD uh, hard uh, disk. Sorry, it's not hard. <laughs> Solid state uh, disk here. Uh, I might install it back and leave it. Uh, it was used for buffer, I believe, but I can just leave uh, like a version of Windows for easy installation later or something like that. So I might install it back. Now to replace the hard disk itself, that's it here. You'll have to remove some screws, usually this one. Under this one there is one and two, two here and three here. And the fourth one is here under, and it's actually, uh, under the, uh, the battery, this is the battery, so I think we will have to remove the battery also so we can have access to uh, this screw so we can remove the hard disk. And I think we have one, two, three here, and four. I'm sure, if you can see that, yeah, four and five screws. And this is the battery cable. I hope we don't uh, we don't uh, we won't have to remove that. So I will see what uh, how to do it, and I will be back. Okay, as I said, uh, we have to remove four screws here to unscrew the hard disk. And it is very easy actually. Also, we had to remove uh, the battery screws so we uh, to just right, uh, raise it a little bit and then push the hard disk uh, outside and then pull it up so it goes uh, out of the socket here make sure not to break anything or uh, cut any wire or bend the, the battery or something because uh, yeah. Now all we will have, to, and also make sure not to lose any screws. Take, uh, take picture for the screws or video uh, to uh, 
to remind you later uh, where every screw uh, goes to because uh, they are uh, there is like two different uh, shapes of screws here so make sure to turn everything where it, it was before now we will have to remove these four screws here and uh, install the new one the ssd and uh, put it back in and reverse everything back and that's it uh, make sure to install it with the same direction so don't invert it uh, or you wouldn't be able to install it and I removed this piece here from the old one and transferred it here in the same location to the new one now I will install it back to the laptop and uh, close everything back and see okay now we have the SSD back on uh, locked in the bracket, we remove, we install this, transfer this piece and install back all these pieces uh, above the screws back to their locations. And uh, just for a small reminder, this uh, screw here in the middle, especially this one, is longer than others, so make sure not to uh, mix its location with other places. I also uh, installed the 24 uh, giga. Uh, uh, by it, uh, SSD back to its location uh, maybe I will use it for something I'm not sure about that yet uh, this model of laptop it only has one uh, slot for for RAM up, uh, upgradability so it has uh, I believe uh, 4 gigabit of RAM memory installed inside of uh, uh, welded to the board itself I'm not sure where and uh, this one you can upgrade to uh, 16 gigabit slots so you will have total of uh, 20 gigabit which is more than enough now i think i have uh, 12 gigabit this one i think it's uh, 8 giga and 4 giga in assault so that's 12 gigabit for me and that's fine for me because it's just, just for uh, regular work and uh, now i will install back the cover and uh, get everything back to its place and see uh, if it can read the new SSD from the BIOS. Then install the windows and everything. Okay, now all the screws are back on. And we installed back this uh, little feet here and make sure it have uh, like a corner uh, as a guide. You can make sure to install everyone in its place and install all the screws back and make sure to close it correctly so uh, it aligns as it used to be in a perfect shape and it looks very nice now now we will uh, turn it on and see okay now uh, i opened it but now we will have to go to the bias we will click on delete We'll boot here yeah, to the device now. Let's see if it treats the disks installed. Yeah, now it can see the the SSD we just installed. But uh, I'm not sure why it can't read the other one. Yes, it can read it also here. So now everything is back on. I uh, I will just install the Windows regularly and boot from the. Um, USB flash disk and install the one that's That's it. Thank you for watching.